Good afternoon, welcome back, or good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, or wherever you're from. So, I've come to the next location, and this location is a monument dedicated to the battle. So what you find with most English battlefields is there will be a monument somewhere dedicated to that place, and this is that place. What's happened since then, and in most recent times, is like I keep saying, is Naseby 1645 are a charitable organisation, Battlefield Preservation Society, that have gone round and marked some of the other spots. Now on this particular battlefield at Naseby, you have two monuments, you have one to Cromwell and one uh, main one in the centre here. We're just literally out of the village of Naseby, which is just over there. I'm going to turn you around. Which is just up that way. And we've come to this amazing monument. Now, I've seen a monument like this before a couple of times on English Civil War battlefields. Uh, there is a smaller one like this. Actually, it might be a similar size um, in Newbury. Uh, when I went down to American Civil War Roundtable UK's conference, I stopped at Newbury. Um, I never put any of that stuff out yet. Um, so that's yet to come in the, in the future. There is a little sign here that tells you about the battle. And again, thanks to Naseby 1645 and the Battlefield Trust here in England and Royal Armouries for doing this sign for us and putting this out here for us. There's also a Naseby Battlefield Trail sign there. And again, this is literally just an overview of uh, of the, uh, the battle. Um, from what I understand, there used to be a windmill in this spot. Again, I'll just show you the sign. And again, I'm going live on my personal Facebook feed because when I go live on American Civil War and UK Histories, I don't get anybody watching, which is quite frustrating. Hopefully, in time, as I get more followers, that will change. Facebook is a funny thing. Let's go and have a look at this amazing monument. So, as I said, we're literally just outside the the village of Naseby. I was actually not supposed to come to this one yet, but it's on the way to my next stop and it was on the way. So I thought, well, might as well pull over and stop now, might I? Um, so far today, I've been at Rupert's viewpoint. So we started the other end of the battlefield. Um, Naseby is actually set back from the battlefield. So if you can just see there the steeple of the church, the battle took place in that area over there somewhere. So the village is here. The battle takes place over that way. And again, I've just been at the Oliver Cromwell monument and you got an amazing, amazing view of the battlefield from there. And, and the parliamentarians up on that ridge there had an absolutely beautiful view of the battlefield. But yeah, this is amazing, amazing monument to all of the guys that fell and fought here at Naseby in 1645. And it says on the side to commemorate the great decisive battle. Sorry, the great and decisive battle. And as I've already pointed out a few times, it is very decisive. This will decide, although there will be more battles to come, and one of them is Great Torrington, which I featured a little while ago in 1646. But um, this battle seals the fate of King Charles I, basically. One thing is, he's never going to command an army ever again after this battle, and it will end in his execution. Amazing. And if you're just joining me, today the opportunity came up for me to come out to Naseby. I have family in Northampton, and uh, so I come up here, I decided. And it is my first time. I'm a little bit of ashamed of myself, actually, but I mean, we don't come up here very often. So let me give you a little bit of the geography. I live in the southeast of England, and this took me three hours to drive here. So it's in the East Midlands. In New, uh, in Northamptonshire so it's a good three hour drive it's two and a half hours on a good day but that is the monument to all 
to basically the Battle of Naseby here, just outside the village of Naseby, which is over there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do have one more stop today, which is uh, Sir Thomas Fairfax's monument and, and viewpoint. Um, again, I want to say thank you to um, Naseby 1645, and I know I keep saying it, but I cannot, cannot thank them enough. I mean, they have made a lot, you know, they've made this battlefield even better than it was. It was a special place anyway, but the fact that they've gone out of their way and put these uh, platforms in some of the important spots of the battlefield just makes it that much better and it makes it worth coming out and visiting and i've really enjoyed my day today um a little bit of trouble with the hedge i will admit but we got there in the end um okay so what i'm gonna do is leave you with that fault and this monument <laughs>